I was in online church uh, this week. Hi guys, hope you're doing well. I was in online church this week and in the middle of the service, the Lord gave uh, the pastor a prophetic song uh, which said, I want to know you for who you really are. And it was so powerful, it stopped the service for a few minutes. And this morning, as I was in my bed, minding my own business, um, the Lord kind of gave me a response to this prophetic song. He said, listen, and he brought back Beyonce's song, listen, and he started to just, to just um, minister that word to my heart. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, this next juncture in history is not going to is not going to depend so much on what was said by the prophets of old. Although I will use that as, as instructions and a mirror as windows. But he said, in this juncture in history, I want to go beyond my word and add to it. He said, the prophets and priests are not going to add to it. I am going to add to it. So what's important now is not so much to read the word, but to listen to what he has to add. And this is just so strange for me to say, and I just feel kind of strange saying this, but he's saying whatever industry you're a part of, whether it be the real estate industry, whether it be the teaching industry, whether it be whatever industry, there are believers that he is, is strategically placing in every industry. And whatever industry you, you are a part of, whatever field you are a part of, whether you are a stay-at-home mom of three, whether you are a pastor, whether you are a custodian, he said this is the time that he wants to, ex uh, to explain and express his, minute, his mysteries about your industry. He wants to give his believers insight that has never been given before um, about different industries. So whether you're a teacher or whether you're whatever industry you're in, he wants to give you as believers insight. But what he asked me to uh, tell you, what he's commanded me to tell you is you need to listen. What he's doing now is so unprecedented. Uh, Paul doesn't have the answers. Peter doesn't have the answers. Moses doesn't have the answers. This is a new day. And although his written word is still his word, and it still has the principles that he wants us to live by, 
He wants us to not ignore those principles, but he wants to add to those principles. And he wants to talk um, to different people according to their industry and interests to give them insight for not only their lives, but the world. Um, so, for example, he wants to give his medical researchers a, um, a solution to coronavirus, not just a vaccine to not make you get sick and end up in the hospital. He's like, the answers are waiting for one of his believers who are medical researchers or medical personnel who understand the lingo of uh, medicine and, and how viruses work. He wants to give the answer to them so that they can bring his kingdom forth through medicine or finding cures for these diseases. And he said, when you unlock the, the uh, antidote for this disease, it will unlock other things. So I'm saying that to say when he wants to give you as a believer in whatever industry you're in, he wants to give you the divine insight using your in your interest and your industry to help shape the world, not only the church, the world, but we are too busy wanting things to go ba back to normal. And he's saying, I want to create something not new. He said, unprecedented. Those are the words he's using for me right now. He, he's like, I want to do something unprecedented. He said, I need you to, to just let go of everything you thought Christianity was, of everything you thought Christianity is. He said, let go of that and let me teach you what I want for the church. Because he wants things for the church that we have no idea about because we're not listening. We're too busy, first of all, with our, our lives and with ourselves. And we're tr trying to find answers in the scriptures. And there are answers in the scriptures. Don't get me wrong. Hear what I say carefully. There are answers in the scriptures. But he wants to build on those scriptures. When John got the whole revelation on the Isle of Patmos in Revelation, his aim was just to start something. It wasn't for everything to be finished that God stopped speaking. And everything that he's going to say ever is located in this book. No, he wants to build on the word that he gave those disciples. He totally wants to build. And what he wants to say is, is, is not located anywhere in the scriptures. He needs... Um, people of every industry who know the lingo, who who have insight, and who have his spirit to take what they know in whatever industry 
and to let his spirit guide them. Um, there are often times when I'm in my bed and and he will begin showing me stuff. My body will still be in my bed. I'm in my room, but my spirit will travel and he will show me stuff that he wants to do in technology and in music and with movies and different aspects of my interest and different aspects of my calling. And that's what he wants to do with people. He wants to turn the world upside down through you. He wants to give you strategy that he has never given anyone in the world ever. He wants to give you that strategy. And all he's saying is for you to listen. And preachers, don't try this fancy thing with rhyming and trying to get people interested in the house of God or interested in the gospel. We don't need to do that anymore. We never needed to do that. We always thought we needed to do that. But his spirit will draw people. He draws people. And what he showed me was just to be quiet. Just to be still and and let and let the Lord take your spirit to places and show you things that he's never shown anyone else and be open and do not be afraid if this is just totally off the wall I can't explain to you what he's been showing me just because not because I have a lot of time not because I'm super spiritual but just because I'm open and I'm still and I let and I let God carry my spirit to where he will and I said Lord isn't that creepy um, uh, trans transcendental um, meditation isn't that demonic he said he said um, they've got the right principle but the wrong focus there Focus is of the devil and to do e evil means. But the principle of letting the spirit world show your spirit things or teach your spirit things, that principle is mine. He said, and I want it back. He said, all the principles that they use in transcendental uh, meditation, all the principles that they use in yoga, they're my principles. But it's just the wrong focus.